Whenever I get food from a restaurant in Japan, it always surprises me how delicious they are. However, the portion of the food tend to be a little small for me because me, I like everything big. So in this video, I'll be going to three different restaurants that became extremely popular on the internet for selling huge food in Japan. Like this super-sized tonkatsu restaurant that's owned by a retired sumo wrestler, or this unagi don restaurant. And spoiler alert, they are amazing. So come join me and let's go try some big, delicious food in Japan. But one second guys. Before we start the video today, can I take one moment to be a little serious with you guys? So I get a lot of messages from my viewers asking me how I always seem so happy because they're going through some hard time and they want to know how to feel better. The truth is, yes, I am quite happy at the moment, at least for the most part, but I spent the majority of my life in the past feeling desperately depressed. And looking back, I really wish I was open to the idea of seeking proper mental therapy. I knew it was the right thing to do, but I just didn't know where to begin. Well, I'm happy to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that can help you find the therapist that you need simply by filling out some questions online. And you can have the therapy session by voice calling, video chat, or even just by chatting depending on what you prefer. And if you feel like your therapist isn't the best for you, they're gonna match you with another therapist without a hassle. Whether you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, which is pretty common by the way, or maybe you're just going through some hard times in your life, I think we can agree that life is a tough thing for us to live through and we all need some help every now and then. So if you feel like you need a therapist, please don't hesitate to use the link in the description to get better help. Of course it'll help my channel if you do, but you'll also get 10% off on your first month. I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored, but I truly believe that investing in your health, both physical and mental health, is the best investment that you can make for yourself. So do me a favor, take good care of your mental health, okay? Okay now, let's go back to watching my video. That might be good for your mental health too. My first destination of the day is this place called Izumo. It was located in a shopping mall, and recently they've become extremely popular for their massive eel egg omelette bowl. So popular that I ended up waiting for over an hour just to get in. So let's find out if the wait was worth it. Now that I'm finally here, let's get the food. I'm thinking I'll get this eel egg omelette bowl that is extremely trendy on social media, but I kinda want that beef bowl too. So I got set on the bar seat. The space is not too tight. I'm alone, but there's like another seat right next to me. I was kinda surprised that there's a cover charge, 330 yen. That's like $2.50 and there's a mandatory drink order. So it's kind of like a nightclub. So as my mandatory drink order, I got this highball for unagi. It seems that what makes it specifically for unagi is this pepper that's on top. Thank you. Oh, oops. <laughs> Hey, I made her laugh. <laughs> that was funny. She was acting like a super professional young lady. I made her break out of her character. Anyway, if you guys don't know what a highball is, it's pretty much a whiskey that's mixed with some kind of a soda. I like how it doesn't taste too sweet and uh, I don't smell too much alcohol. It's almost like drinking soda, really. And my food is also here now. My god, it's finally here. Usually I'm a bit skeptical when things are popular on Instagram, but I can't deny that this looks like the most delicious thing I've seen in a while. Hope you guys can feel the volume of it. The omelette, it's so, it's cooked so perfectly. It jiggles when I move. I am so sorry that you guys are not here with me. Let me start working on this. Man, this is just so heavenly. Oh my god. Well, I gotta start with the most important part, their unagi. And wow, it was as fluffy as they described it to be, and it had lots of meat on it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty perfect. Let me taste some of that omelette by itself as well. It's not as sweet as other Japanese omelette that I've tried before. It's actually sweet and savory at the same time. Despite its color, their rice was surprisingly bland or mildly flavored. I guess I shouldn't have judged it by its color. I'm not a college admissions guy in America, you know. 
The beauty of this bowl is that you can scoop up everything at the same time. And in a single bite, it sends me straight to heaven. And I didn't even go to church since I was nine. The unagi, when you chew it, it's like so gelatinous. It's like chewing a bunch of gummy bear that you microwave for like 10 seconds. It's kind of sticky in your mouth. It is just delicious. Or in Japanese, they say, delicious. While I felt like there was a bit too much rice in proportion, I was super happy with the portion of the food, and I thoroughly enjoyed every part of this bowl. If you ask them, you can get this with half a amount of rice, and I think that would be great for most people. In this restaurant, you can also use your smartphone to order more food, and I just couldn't get the beef bowl that I saw on the menu out of my head, so I decided to get that as well. Now that's adding up to be quite a lot of money, but you guys are listening to my songs on Spotify, helping me make all that money, right? Please. I guess there was a lot of food for one person, so the staff came to check if I did it by mistake. All right, it's finally here. Can we just say that this is very aesthetically pleasing? It's not every day I get to have food like this. Might as well have more while I can. So this one doesn't have the egg omelette. Instead, it has 300 grams of beef. So everything was the same as the first bowl of rice, except instead of the egg omelette, this one had 300 grams of beef. I think the other one was more popular, but I think I like this one more. In Japan, they say men eat eel before a very important night. Supposedly, eel gives you lots of lower body power. Man, I could always use more of that power. Your lower body strength is kind of like money. You may or may not need a lot anyway, but it's like the more you have it, the better it is. Whatever you do with it, it's kind of up to you, you know? But you never want to not have it. Ugh, can you imagine? Oh my god, there was a lot of food. So overall, I thought the food was delicious, but there are so many restaurants that sell delicious unagidon in Japan. So I would recommend this place only if you're specifically looking for something big. Okay, let's try something else that is huge. I found this popular restaurant called Pamir, and you can get their food in extra large size that is three times the normal portion. Judging by what I can see on the menu, their food looked absolutely amazing. At the end, I decided to get this karagedon in large size. One of the viewers recommended this place to me through Instagram DM. I haven't replied to the DM, but if you're watching this, just want to say thank you. And there's my huge karagedon, fried chicken rice bowl. Do you guys feel the size of this? I would say it's about a person's head size. Okay, it's not like my head size, but it's like a Japanese girl's head size, you know what I mean? This is karagedon, which is rice served with egg omelette on top and um, fried chicken, Japanese style fried chicken. They call it karage. Uh, hi, K I M. These are beautiful people next to me. They want to know my channel. I got to them. Whoa, this is huge. I don't even know where to begin. Should I start with some of this egg that's on top? Oh my god, even just the egg is good. I just had a tiny bite. This is already a certified good restaurant. Get a little bit of that karage. Oh my god. You see, there's a lot of things that I liked about America when I was living there. One of them was big food portion because American food, they're kind of huge. In Korea, I usually end up getting like two to three servings just to feel satisfied. Well, the portion is definitely not an issue here. I would say it's even bigger than the first place that I went all year. Rice, fried chicken, egg omelette, and the sauce on top is just perfect, my friends. Mm. They have some miso soup right here too. Allow me to show you guys. I guess miso soup is just miso soup. The miso soup tasted good, although I wouldn't say it's anything special. Oh my god, that's a huge curry too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, these very kind people next to me, they ordered this massive, massive, massive curry tonkatsu rice. Tonkatsu curry rice. Wow. Wow. Enjoy. Enjoy. That looks really good. Man, I'm jealous now. I love how the fried surface is actually pretty thin. Like when you get horrible fried chicken, you know how the batter is like half of the fried chicken and there's barely any meat and it's kind of disgusting. Respect. I don't know why I said that, but anyway, the chicken was pretty high quality. 
the chicken sauce is very savory so just by itself it gets a little salty white rice is like a good reset button when something's like too salty too spicy you just scoop up a bunch of white rice and swallow it then you feel a little better i wonder if there's white rice equivalent for my broken heart what I also like about this place, in a lot of restaurants in Asia, when you order something large, they just kind of double the portion of the rice and other cheap ingredients, but they don't give you like proportionate amount of meat. But this restaurant, they gave me lots of meat. You guys know I can eat a lot of food, but this karagedon was so huge that even I struggled for a long time to finish it. The food was quite good, no doubt. Now, to be 100% honest with you guys, it isn't a restaurant that I would remember for how amazing it tasted. It was really good, but it wasn't like a once in a lifetime experience. But the food is huge, and yeah, it is really good food. Oh, I'm sweating from eating all that food. Oh God. But wait guys, I have something better to show you guys. For the next restaurant, I went to Dotonbori in Osaka. Why am I here? Well, I came to try the massive tonkatsu that went viral on YouTube. Supposedly, the restaurant is owned by a retired sumo wrestler and he makes these 2 inch thick tonkatsu. And it seems clear that this place is popular. Is anything worth waiting for this long? Well, after a long time, I was finally able to get inside the restaurant. And sure enough, the sumo wrestler chef was there. He was an enormous man, which is probably why they serve these insanely thick pieces of tonkatsu. So they slow cook these massive cuts of pork and then deep fry them to make their iconic tonkatsu. That's like the biggest piece of pork that I've seen. Oh. oh my god, that is so ridiculous. Wow. Ah, this is Thank you. Holy shito. It was the biggest tonkatsu that I've seen in my life. And I think it'll stay that way for a long time. So the one that I got was slow cooked for 24 hours and my friend got another one that was slow cooked for 12 hours. I mean this this is just unbelievable. Wow, that is that is so thick. They have a bunch of different dipping sauces that I can try too. And I'm gonna dip it in this sauce. Mm. Wow. Crispy as hell boy. Wow. First off, the batter, the panko that's on it, it's unbelievable. It's like probably one of the very best tonkatsu that I've ever tasted. The meat itself is quite lean. It's not like super oily. And in my opinion, that makes it even better. Because it's so thick. If it was like oily, then it would have been pretty hard to consume in large portions, you know? That's 50% rice and 50% meat pretty much. The rice to meat ratio is insane. Even the skin of this tonkatsu is like really pleasant. Love it. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like deep fried garlic bread. The one that's been slow cooked for 12 hours, it looks like the fat's not completely rendered. So it's more fatty, whereas mine, mine feels a lot more lean. Now I think it's a little hard to say which one's better. They're just very different. That being said, I'm gonna steal a piece from my friend. I might be imagining this, but it was more fatty, but not as tender as mine. So I think I like mine more. This could very well be one of my favorite meals that I had in Japan. Let's try the rice. Mm. I can't quite express how satisfied I am. Yeah, that gentleman really knows how to cook. The food was unique, delicious, and honestly quite fairly priced considering the portion and how much work goes into making it. Oh god, oh god, I feel sorry for those people. Oh, the food is very good, by the way. It's worth waiting for. Continue to wait. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to support more journeys like this, go ahead and watch my other videos and do listen to my songs on Spotify because that can help too. Thanks again, BetterHealth, for sponsoring this video. Take care of your mental health, guys. Goodbye.